good morning children today we are going to learn problems on menstruation that is uh, iit worksheet number 7.62 okay here we have four sums only in this concept one by one we will see first one the length of a rectangle is 8 cm more than its breadth if perimeter of the rectangle is 68 cm then the length and breadth are now observing this question they given a rectangle and he is saying that its length is 8 cm more than its breadth so here they are here he is comparing the length with the breadth so we don't know the length and breadth both so let the breadth is some x then the length will be x plus 8 because he said 8 cm more than its breadth so x plus 8 and also in the question they given if the perimeter of the rectangle is 68 cm means they given perimeter is equal to 68 cm and we know that here the answer is given to you means perimeter is given so we will equal to the formula the formula for perimeter of a rectangle is 2 of l plus b is equal to 68 now the formula is 2 of l plus b they given its value is 68 so 2 of l plus b is equal to 68 now transfer the 2 to the side into 2 2 of means into 2 into becomes as by then 68 by 2 then here remaining in lhs remaining is l plus b and in rhs 68 by 2 68 by 2 means 34 now substitute the values what we let that is breadth equal to x and length equal to x plus 8 then substituting the values l value x plus 8 plus b value x is equal to 34 now simplifying it x plus x 2x and plus 8 is equal to 34 now transpose the by plus 8 to the side it becomes as minus 8 so then we will get 2x is equal to 34 minus 8 means 26 then transposing the 2 to that side then we will get x equal to 30 so we assume that breadth is x length is x plus 8 now we can calculate the length and breadth length equal to x plus 8 means 13 plus 8 it is equal to 21 cm and breadth it is x means 13 cm that is the sum so here they given the relation between length and breadth that is length is 8 cm more than its breadth and perimeter also given to you so equaling to the formula we can calculate length and breadth okay and next question it is question number 31 in your book if two sides of an equilateral triangle measure 6x plus 1 and 11x plus 5 by 2 units then the perimeter of the triangle is it's simple one here they given two sides of an equilateral triangle first come to an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means in a triangle all the three sides are equal three sides equal means any two also equal so they given the measure of two sides so all sides are equal so we can equal the two sides then 6x plus 1 is equal to 11x plus 5 by 2 now transposing the by 2 to this side we will get 2 of 6x plus 1 is equal to 11x plus 5 then applying the distributive property we will get 12x plus 2 is equal to 11x plus 5 now bring the like terms together then it is 12x minus 11x is equal to 5 plus 2 becomes as minus 2 then simplifying it we will get x equal to 3 then you know that the values measure of all the three sides are equal so you may take you may substitute the x value in the first number that is 6x plus 1 otherwise second side 11x plus 5 by 2 anything you can uh, in any side you can substitute the x value i am substituting 
in first one, 6x plus 1. Then the side equal to 6 of 3 plus 1, that is 19. You may substitute in the second one also, 11x plus 5 by 2. There if you take x value as 3, 11, 3, 33 plus 5, 38, 38 by 2, it's also 19. So all sides are equal. So first side is 19, second side is also 19, third side is also 19. Then we can calculate the perimeter. Perimeter means sum of all the three sides. So 19 plus 19 plus 19. It is 57 units. That is the sum. Okay. And next. Question number 57. The length of a rectangle shaped park exceeds its breadth by 17 meters. If the perimeter of the park is 178 meters, then the dimensions of the park. It is just like the first sum only. There also they given length is 8 meters more than breadth. Here also he said x is also it is more. So length is length exceeds its breadth by 17 meters means length is 7 meters more 17 meters more than the breadth. So just like the first sum, we will take length equal to x and sorry breadth equal to x and then length equal to x plus 17 and in the given question the perimeter is uh, equal to 178 so equaling to the formula 2 of l plus b equal to 178 then transposing the 2 we will get l plus b equal to 89 and then substituting the l value and b value in it x plus 17 plus x equal to 89 then 2x plus 17 equal to 89 Transposing the 17 to the side, 2x equal to 72. Then transposing the x, 72 by 2. Sorry, transposing the 2, 72 by 2. That is x equal to 36. Now we can calculate length and breadth. Length equal to x plus 17. That means 36 plus 17, 53 meters. Breadth equal to 36 meters. That is just like the first sum only. And next, last question. That is question number 75. A rectangle has a length of 5p minus 6 meters and breadth a width of p plus 4 meters. The width and length of the box in meters if its perimeter is 20 meters is. It's also same model. Here also they given length breadth. But in the previous questions, we are assuming the length breadth as x and length is uh, x plus 17, x plus 8 like that. But now they are given directly length equal to 5p minus 6, breadth equal to p plus 4. And also given that perimeter equal to 20. So, substituting equal to the formula l plus 2 of l plus b equal to 20. Transposing that to, we will get l plus b equal to 10. Now, substituting the values. 5p minus 6 l value plus p plus 4 b value is equal to 10. Then simplifying it, 5p plus p that is 6p minus 6 plus 4. Its value is minus 2. So 6p minus 2 equal to 10. Now transpose the minus 2 to that side. Then 6p equal to 12 that is 10 plus 2, 12. Now transposing the p 6 to that side, p equal to 2. 12 by 6, that is 2. Now, we can measure the length and the breadth. Length, they given 5p minus 6, means 5 of 2 minus 6 is equal to 4 meters. And breadth equal to, they given p plus 4, that is 2 plus 4, equal to 6 meters. That is, okay, these are the sums on the concept problems on mensuration. Thank you.